Welcome to The Compressor Guru. You know, a lot of times we spend time talking about uh, recip compressors and screw compressors. We have something a little different. I want to introduce you to Bill, owner and operator of Gongleware Environmental Services. He's one of the guys here in Pennsylvania that makes the water better. And we have a lot of old strip mines around here and there's different treatment plants that operators operate for DEP and he's one of them and this is a different kind of compressor and we just wanted to touch base with it about it this is a blower very high volume very low pressure and uh, Bill's going to talk about what this machine does and that's uh, a little bit of the teaser we'll give the rest of the teaser at the end of the video Bill what what does this do? Where? How do you hook it up? Well, this goes in an application where it uh, goes into, it blows air, of course, into venturis that go down into a mixed well about 10 feet deep. A well, so it's got water in it. Right, so water comes in, lime comes in together. This blows air down into tubes about uh, 9 feet, 10 feet tall blows it out the bottom, keeps the lime in more suspension, that way the lime breaks down and we utilize it better than if it was just to flow into the pond and then sit in the pond and then um, take up space in the pond where it's not needed, you know, it's, it's, it's a residual we need to use it and the air coming out of this helps keep all that in suspension, that's so, the purpose. So this basically stirs the water? Yes. So you're Agitates using... Agitates the water, stirs it, gets uh, a, in a certain volume of water, and uh, treats the water. I wanted to put this up for the audience because it's amazing how many different uses there are for compressed air. You know, every car wash has an air compressor. Uh, they make uh, automatic doors at some buildings that go up and down with air cylinders. And they're fast, they're quiet, efficient. Um, but this was just another use for compressed air, and we thought we'd share it with our uh, viewing audience. Um, Bill, I asked you before, you're going to look for some permission. Can we come out to one of the sites and see how yes. one of these sites is put all together? If both sites are different, too. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll get invited to both of them. So that's the hook, folks. We're going to take the camera wife and go out to one of these sites and uh, see just how water's treated using compressed air. And uh, Bill, I thank you. Thank you for the sale. We'll take care of you any way we can, like we always do. And, uh, and get one more for a backup, as your wife said. Good. <laughs> when do I order? Uh, let me get this one in first. Okay. Make sure there's oil in it. That's what this says. Mm -hmm. Make sure in the back that it grease, you grease it periodically. And that's a special synthetic grease. Can we yes. flip it around? And then we'll see where, oh. Put the grease in here. Usually I put in about three shots. It starts coming out of the bottom. Yep, just like uh, a regular grease fitting. Well, regular grease fitting don't come out the bottom. Well, it depends on how much it comes back out the top. <laughs> yeah, it comes out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know what they do. And That's then, my wife, the mechanic. And yeah, then well. making sure the air filters are clean. Oh, yeah. I've got, that's these units are going to be changed outside as we're talking um, here in the, this year. Okay. So they're in a very dusty, harsh environment for a compressor. And that's half, half the problem. I think the other half, you know, is the heat. Oh, yeah. You can, yeah. The conditions can. are terrible, and they should never been put in this situation. Yep. And you're going through these fairly regular right now. Yeah. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't mind. And that's the problem. And that's where I told my boss, I said, we've got to do something different. You've, we've got to change the application so, as talking to you, to make sure that not just that the air coming into here, into the air cleaner is kept clean, but I need the whole thing to be kept clean. Yeah. I need the whole application uh, and to stay out. This site doesn't have a high 
I have vents all over the place, so oh, this okay. one can stay cooled down. But the lime, we're having a lime leak. There's lime getting all over the place. I have how much filters can I go through with a cover, but it's still not a good thing, I know that. So I'm going to change the where it's positioned inside and put it outside the solid. I've said in the past the two big enemies of air compressors are heat and dirt. And there's not much finer than lime. And it's a powder. It's yeah. like flour. And it's really hard to get stopped for the filters here. And the one place where this is put in, terrible, terrible heat. Yes. So heat and dirt are the two enemies of any air compressor and uh, Bill's working on fixing that. Um, the other thing that kills these, of course, is is definitely the lime, and they run all the time. 24-7. 365, unless Bill has to shut it down and check the oil and service it. And that's hot. Mm -hmm. That's what kills this, too. I know all these factors kill it. So, okay. Well, once again, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. God bless. This is The Compressor Guru. Keep watching. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.